So this week we're working on a Jaguar XKR. Um, we actually worked on this the, let me double check the date, 5th of July 2018 is when we actually last worked on this car and we ceramic coated it um, and it had the ceramic pro package on it. And if you see some of the videos, we'll actually show into these to this clip here for you. You'll actually see that the ceramic is still working and it's working really, really well. Which shows the customers kept up with it. But it also shows how ceramic really does work when it's done right. And as I say, this is 2018, so it's a fair few years ago when it were applied. The problem we've got at the minute, uh, as you may see on here, and I'll try and get some bigger clips, is the customer has put some ceramic top up on here um, just to help dry the car when it it's used as like a drying aid. And the problem is he's actually left that to set and it's set in the sun uh, over summer. And it's caused basically water spotting. Um, from what being taken off so it's not in every single area as bad the glass is really bad um, you can probably just see there but it, it is literally more water spotting so there's quite a bit of cutting needs to be done on there unfortunately it's had a bit of damage on the wing as well where someone's actually reversed over this um, I believe it was an SUV he's actually gone into it and it's called the light the bump of the wing and again we'll show the clips of those it's in for more like a repair work at the moment but what we're doing is we're going to skim the whole car we're only going to hit it lightly because the ceramic is still obviously there. We're going to get the water spottings off and then we're going to add another sort of 12 months top up over the top of it just to give it that additional finish for him. And we'll show you the clips as we go. had a top up sealant sprayed on it. I don't know if it's RSC Pro or something similar um, or something completely different, but from what I remember, the customer sprayed like an SC Pro or a ceramic top up on the car. It's baked on the car in the sun in summer and it's been on there for a long time. And the problem we're having, even we're using a heavy pad, is this is not coming out of the actual paint. It's really, really bedded into the actual ceramic. Um, the biggest problem we've got now is to get this off, and the only way we're safely going to get this off is actually using extremely heavy pads and heavy compound. But the problem that's going to do is going to strip any ceramic that's still on there. Um, and it's actually still got the coating on from four years ago and it's really working. So unfortunately, we're going to have to rip that off. And it's actually going to damage the paint by buffing this. We're going to have to then use the rotary to build it back down, take the marks out that we've put in, and basically get the finish back again. So this is going to be a hell of a lot bigger job than we actually expected, and it's creating an absolute mess. There is compound everywhere. The compound's beading and bobbling on the actual ceramic that's on the paint. And as you'll see, it's literally just... The compound's worming everywhere. This is really, really cold out. It's going to look good when it's done, but this has got some serious work to do from having the compound, the sealant on there, sat in the sun and basically baked for sort of over a year. Um, we needed to get this off earlier, really, ideally. So this is basically what we mean when we're talking about the pads are worming. Basically, try and zoom in again, all these little bits here is basically compound and it's going dry and it's just spinning straight off the pad. But this is the mess we're having to make to basically get that residue um, and solution off the actual panels. So this is gonna need quite a bit of refinement work afterwards because there's probably quite a bit of buffer trail actually in there. So we're currently into about 21 hours in on uh, the paint enhancement on this Jag and obviously trying to get the contamination side of things off from the sealant that's been sprayed and left to bond and the problem is we're still nowhere near. Um, I'm going to show you on the camera if I can, the, basically all the grooves, the lines, the vents and everywhere where we're still finding sealant and it's actually now trying to actually get to those areas to get it off. As you can actually see, it's in the grooves, the crannies, all the little nooks and everywhere you can imagine, in between the door shuts, the boot shuts. The vents are the biggest issue um, because we can't necessarily get into a lot of those grooves. The badge is really bad. We're gonna have to remove that and order some new badges because there's no way we can work around that. And as you've just seen, obviously the rear glass is absolutely stained. So we're having to shave these with razor blades now to get the glass right, which you've got to do really carefully to make sure you don't actually damage it. Um, I'll show you the badge because it is really bad.
Because he's gone. They should have put him six points. And we have a win.